Well, there are some nice things about this job I've got. Uh, one of them is the chance to have a few fraternity brothers over to the house. <laughs> uh, but it is wonderful to have you here. And incidentally, I, I also learned in public speaking, never open with an apology, but then also, if you're public speaking, you should get here on time, and I didn't. And uh, that's kind of normal, that there's a certain time in the day when I find myself automatically behind schedule. But uh, I apologize for that. And the fact, when things are over in here, going in the blue room, and then we'll have a chance to meet each one of you individually and, uh, in there, and I'll be waiting and looking forward to seeing you. Since 1929, Tall Kappa Epsilon has been important to me, as I know it has to so many of you. The friendships and the valuable experience I enjoyed there in IOTA chapter have been one of the more satisfying things in my life. In addition to a chance to reminisce, today also provides me with a chance to note the enormous good work that is done by the American College Fraternity Movement. Each year, fraternity men contribute over one million hours of public service and raise over $7 million to support hospitals, health research, and other private sector initiatives. And that's quite a difference from the old days when they used to paint fraternities and sororities as somehow uh, dens of evil and <laughs> capitalistic frailties. <laughs> American fraternities striving together for the common good have had a great positive effect throughout the country. They're helping to promote sound values like scholarship, and leadership, and service to alma mater and community. I know in my own day, uh, if your grades fell below a certain point, you were introduced to assume the p angle. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so I just want to take a second here and salute the National Interfraternity Conference on 75 years of service to the fraternity movement. There's one other item that I want very much to mention. Back in 1929, I was informed that TKE is a fraternity for life. Well, next year, the TK Educational Foundation begins an important campaign to establish an endowment. I've tried to be a supporter of the foundation for more than 20 years, and I can tell you firsthand that the work of the foundation means a great deal to the future of our fraternity. Our nation was built by people helping people, generation passing on to generation the permanent things. And today, future generations of Teaks rely on the support of the Teak alumni. So I heartily, end heartily endorse the Teak Educational Foundation and encourage everyone to do their part. And so, Frotters in the bond. May I say how good it was to have all of you over to the house today. <laughs> Continue sharing our brotherhood with new young men on the campus throughout the United States and Canada. Extending our bond and its tradition for excellence is worthy work. Work that with your help will prosper and endure for many generations to come. And with that, I will just say again a heartfelt thanks and God bless all of you. Mr. President, fraternities are known by the members that they keep active and involved, and certainly your involvement uh, in TKE has been well chronicled. From the very moment you signed the scroll of IOTA chapter at Eureka College, you have lived the very principles of Tall Cap Epsilon, those principles of love, charity, and esteem. And your undergraduate activities as Hagemon and Big Brother and uh, uh, Honor Heastor and then to Chapter Preetness, Chapter President, demonstrated even then your natural ability to be a leader. And by continuing your service as an alumni member, you have indeed put meaning into our fraternity motto, the fraternity for life. Your continued visits to IOTA chapter and your assistance in 
producing our Fraternity for Life film and our subsequent slide presentation has helped TKE to record its own tradition of excellence throughout history. Your personal commitment to excellence and as chairman of the Grand Prix Advisory Committee helped us to set the direction of our long-range plan, our long-range goals, and the development of our educational foundation. And as you have pointed out, your personal support of the TK Educational Foundation has indeed helped us to uh, help perpetuate the values that we all share. And so, Mr. President, we are here today as witnesses to the success that you have achieved through your personal dedication and involvement and as a role model for literally thousands of young men. Mr. President, the Order of the Golden Eagle is the highest award that TKE can bestow upon a frauder in the bond. The Eagle, of course, is identified with strength, dignity, and authority, attributes which you eloquently and forcefully personify. And therefore, it's most befitting that this Order of the Golden Eagle be given to a Teak who has demonstrated this, his leadership and success by being elected by the people of this nation to serve as president of these United States. So, Frater Reagan, I'm deeply honored to be here today, and on behalf of the entire Grand Council, the leadership of our educational foundation, our undergraduate students, and the 150,000 Teaks throughout <coughs> the world, to present to you with our heartfelt thanks, Teaks' highest and most prestigious award, the Order of the Golden Eagle. Mr. President, the 57 fraternities of the National Fraternity Conference are proud that there is one among us who has distinguished himself in his life achievements that at the 1983 annual meeting of the conference, you, Mr. President, were selected to become a recipient of the NIC Gold Medal. We feel very privileged to be here this uh, afternoon and to have this special time to recognize your achievements as an outstanding fraternity member. The Gold Medal was first given by the NIC in 1940 to individuals who had distinguished themselves in service to youth, a life devoted of service to the fraternity system, personification of the goal of service to youth, champion of the efforts to raise fraternity standards, freely time given, effort and energy, promotion of sound educational attainments of positive advantages to youth, and representation of the composite aim of all fraternity leaders and workers to improve the service of the educational and fraternity systems. We take great pride that the membership in a fraternity can offer students the leadership development opportunities necessary for them to become businessmen, scientists, doctors, lawyers, clergymen, educators, athletes, entertainers, and yes, even President of the United States. Although 15 former presidents have been members of NIC fraternities, you, Mr. President, are the first so honored by this conference. And so on behalf of the Board of Directors of the conference, the 57 member fraternities and some 3 million fraternity men, I am proud to present to you, Frater President, the conference's highest honor, the gold medal, which is uh, the proud embolication of those ideals that we discussed. Thank you very much. Well, Thank you very much. You, believe me, have made me very proud. And may I say also, in this helping of others of Talk App Epsilon, Talk App Epsilon did more than just honor me with brotherhood in the fraternity. A teak named Dan Benefield was instrumental in my choosing Eureka College and then becoming a teak. And I couldn't have chosen any college if Talk App Epsilon, Iota Chapter, had not given me a job waiting on tables and washing dishes <laughs> in my pledge year. And I must say, having given me that experience and made it economically possible for me to go to college, then, of course, when I became a member, I was no longer permitted to hold that job. So my brother got the job. He came to school. <laughs> and that experience then led to one of the better jobs that I've ever had in my life because my second year in school, I started washing dishes in the girls' dormitory. 
but thank you all very much. I'm going to go over into that other room there, the blue room, and uh, out that way, all right, and then look forward to seeing and being able to greet each one of you individually. Thank you very much. Thank you.